Thank God. Thank God it's Thursday. How are you? It's uh, the 5th of October, if you can believe that. And I'm going to do a short garden presentation. I haven't done one in a while. Uh, I'm glad everybody enjoyed. Most of the people, all the feedback was pretty positive uh, for the installation of this, uh, this mobile home. And uh, this is what you see is what you get. And here it is. So I'll just do a quick... Uh, they couldn't drop it off quick enough. They dropped it off, cranked it down, and they were gone. So they did their job, and there it is. So it'll get the skirting, it'll get the uh, vital hookups for utilities, and it'll be ready to go and up for sale. I'm thinking it's, I heard $200,000, but I'm not sure, but prices have gone up everywhere, even for mobile homes. So let's spin around and We'll do a garden presentation today. There are a couple of items of interest I want to go over. This particular uh, uh, tree over here, this uh, palm tree, see the way it's coming out of the pot? Now, I, I researched this and talked to a professional gardener in Austin, Robert, and he says you have to take it out of the pot and then cut, cut about, I don't know, three or four inches of uh, root and then put it back in the pot. But that's a big job and that's not going to happen. And it's just going to continue to come out of the pot as you can see it here. But uh, I like the pot. The pot stays. And uh, I trimmed it today. You want to trim the bottom. Give that kind of roundish taper to it. And cut off the ones that stick out. And there you go. So that's good to go for quite some time. And again, these pots are in the front of the mobile home just in case a vehicle uh, backs into it by accident. Hopefully it'll impact these pots first before it damages the residents. This is the one I got off in Craigslist in Manhattan Beach. And look how big this has gotten. Look at the size of the, it's almost like a tree growing in there. So that's very nice to see. And it gets moved around from time to time. And it just wants to keep on going. It's 72 degrees today on the 5th of October. A beautiful light breeze, 72 degrees. And uh, so these are, these are d decorative pots, but also the main reason is for vehicle, uh, I guess vehicle stoppage for lack of a better term uh, terminology. Let's go over here. And See this one, this was a rehab. This was in front of somebody's house and I got a hold of it and turned it into a bonsai. When you go to China, if you ever get to China, you see these giant bonsais all over the place, even bigger than this, like two, three, four, five times the size of this pot you see down here. And they're everywhere. They're at the airports at the train stations. Just beautiful, wherever you go. And uh, this is my neighbor Debbie's residence in a couple of pots that I thought she could use decorative pots so let's move along this was uh instead of getting thrown out this was stuck in a pot and it's coming along pretty good some rose bushes here some succulents i wanted to put some more co color in the garden uh this year so uh we utilize some some more color out of the garden center and did some of that. Uh, and what's great about Southern California is you have gardening all year round. Now look at this, this is interesting. It's taken quite some time, but as you can see, we're finally getting the trunk, if you will, or the hard part of this plant. And, 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 and that takes quite a number of years First, it's just a plant, and you see all this. And then, when you, after an amount of time, you get that that wooded uh, bottom portion, which really gives it some. It really gives it a pop. It really accents it, you see. And it really looks it looks fabulous. And these come in large, large sizes. This one, of course, is being kept at a uh, at a marginal size, just because of the pot it's in. Uh, there were some fascinating cuttings over here. This was, uh, you remember this uh, orchid from when we were doing the, uh, the, uh, 
uh, the moving of the uh, of the mobile home. This was, uh, and it's still going strong. This was on the side of the road as well. This was being thrown out. A lot of times you'll travel the highways or the byways of your community and people will be throwing things out and they will come back to life with a little TLC, tender loving care, some H2O or water. And look at these orchids. Just amazing. Look at the veins and, 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 and you know, just, and this has been going on for quite some time. You just have to be patient with orchids and you don't want to wet, although it looks like there is some water on these leaves. They, 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 they tell, uh, I'm told you're not supposed to wet the leaves on orchids. Here's your uh, poinsettia. This was from uh, last year and it's still going strong. I mean, they just need the right sun and the right uh, H2O balance. Here's some money trees. These are cuttings. Another one coming there. Money trees are a lot of fun. They give good luck. And if you're lucky enough, uh, uh, they'll just take and take and take with the right care. Some more succulents here. I don't know why this one is. Oh, this one is the reason it's this color is because it's been broken. And you can just stick these in the dirt anywhere and uh, they will start they will start uh, doing something and uh, they re regenerate very quickly. Some more succulents over there in the corner. This one looks like this will be a nice bonsai right here. That one there, that'll be a nice bonsai. It's got that shape already. Always make sure your containers have holes at the bottom. Otherwise you're gonna get the rotten wood or rotten roots will rot because there's no drainage. All your pots, no matter where you are, what plants you have, they all need drainage at the bottom. Don't select a pot without drainage holes. Uh, 1962 was the first Dr. No, uh, James Bond. The first, uh, the first title, the first presentation, the first movie of the James Bond uh, series of movies uh, it was Dr. No, and that starred, uh, starred uh, Sean Connery, and that became one of the most, this one I wanna transplant into a bonsai pot, and uh, it's ready to go. This is a cutting. I got a little wire on there to give it perhaps a little bit of a shape, but I'm not much on wiring. I really don't wanna get involved in wiring. This is a cutting from this one over here. See, so cuttings do work. Uh, you put a little root root hormone on the bottom. Maybe I'll show you that. Uh, and it really sparks. This one is having, I haven't, like I said, I haven't done a lot of fertilization. And that's why maybe my plants or trees are not uh, coming along as, as well as, uh, as they might. So let's just go over here and just do a recap. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done this. James Bond was great. Uh, one of the best things about a James Bond movie is, not to mention how entertaining they were, 007, shaken, not stirred, Bond, James Bond, was the sexy girls uh, in their bikinis was very, very a big, uh, a big draw to those movies. And a lot of it also was just the uh, the vistas and the locations throughout the world, the most sexiest locations and uh, overseas destinations you could you could name were also always incorporated in a James Bond movie. So you weren't only going to a movie; you were going on a on a tour. You were going on like a trip. For the, so for the price of your admission you get to see these wonderful locales all over the world in Switzerland and Paris and Rome and Italy and, and the deserts in the Sahara and uh, the, 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 the Swiss Alps, uh, the, the major cities throughout the world, European cities, Eastern European cities, you name it, uh, Southeast Asia, you name it, all the places that people love to visit. I love this one. This one's really doing very well. And a lot of them, they just, uh, you wanna keep the moss off the bottom of the trunk. Uh, I did some of that, I did some, uh, this one is finally starting to give us some leaves here. This one's taking some, quite some time. So be patient with your, 
with your trees or your bonsais because uh, they just got to kick into gear, you know? Here's another cutting. I like this one. This is your, uh, this is your, uh, this is what this is up here. Uh, what do you call it? You know, um, olive. That's an olive cutting. And that's a cutting that, that's, that's taken. So isn't that nice? So, and it's easier when you have small bonsai trees. They're easy to move around. The bigger the pot, the more difficult it is to move around. If you do so, want to move them around. Here's some cutting here. It's a double trunk there. And here's a cutting that still survives today. So that's nice. And we'll see how far we can go with that. This is a, a nursery tree that's still going. It's got some flowers. I de-weeded it yesterday and pulled the top of the moss off and raked some of the top soil and then added fresh soil because I didn't want it to become weeds, weed, uh, full of weeds and uh, this green wart they call is very unattractive. This is the, uh, these are all three cuttings from the same one over here. We've seen these before. I got these in Florida. When I went to Florida with my brother Jay on Amtrak, we got off in, uh, we took the Amtrak train from uh, Penn Station to Jacksonville, Florida, and we rented a vehicle. And we went and we uh, uh, said hello to some family and relatives. And, and uh, that was quite an interesting trip, too. It's, the train is always fun. And these are cuttings from that one. So you can keep uh, multiplying your trees by uh, utilizing uh, cuttings. So look at that. So we'll see how far we get with that. This is a volunteer. I don't know. I just stuck it in the pot. Uh, uh, see what happens with this one. Here's some more succulents. You can. Uh, this one needs fertilization. I don't know why I don't fertilize that. I'm afraid of burning the roots. Is I think is what it is. Here's another one that comes and goes. Comes and goes. Comes and goes. Here's another. Here's another uh, succulent. And. Uh, this is the crown of thorns. I'm not trying to get it to look like a tree. It's not that easy. And another one down here, same species. And they have some nice flowers when they decide that they want to do that. And here's your boxwood. Uh, your boxwood. So Dr. No was a very, very successful, started the franchise off on the right foot. And everybody, I mean, everybody loves a James Bond. Uh, movie, especially in the theater. Oh, I got a big weed down here. I'll have to get that, see it? Without uh, impacting. Uh, this one is still alive, but you can see how it's struggling. I, I trimmed the roots and put it back and it didn't really come back to fertration, but this is how trees really look in the wild. Oh, I gotta get down there and get that moss off the trunk. And another succulent and another boxwood over here. That was 1962. James Bond, Dr. No. So everybody, just a very popular uh, franchise, a James Bond franchise. I haven't heard of a new James Bond movie lately. Here's another boxwood in the cutting. We'll see what happens with that. Let me get you some close-ups here. 1969, Monty Python's Flying Circus debuted today. And it is world famous, watched everywhere. It's watched on uh, reruns. And it is, uh, if you get it, a lot of people may not get it. It may go over their heads. It's very, very funny. It's just uh, absurdly funny. How is that? Some people might think it's not funny and absurd. Uh, 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 what's the word that I'm butchering now? It's absurd. It's not absurd. It's only absurd if you don't get it. If you get it, it quite frankly might be the funniest programming. Uh, 
This one I bought was laying on its side, so you can take it out and reposition it so it stands tall. You can do anything you want with plants. That's why they're so great. They come back. Here's another olive. I've had this one a long, long time. And uh, this one, believe it or not, has been in the same pot for quite some time. This is what, this is a cutting. These two. Just fascinating. These are lambs, uh, lambs ears. Is that a spider there? There you go. And uh, these are lamb ears. And this is a cutting from the original one I got from my friend Floyd over at his home once. Rest his soul. And uh, look at this. This needs to be cut. See these, these things, they come. And you can make a cutting out of this. And you just take it, put it in that stuff I'll show you in a minute. Uh, the hormone. And, uh, so this over here, uh, I took a cutting from, which made this over here. Monty Python's Flying Circus used to come on, I think, PBS on Sunday evenings on Long Island. And it was something you just look forward to because... Uh, it's just uh, changing colors of the seasons on these leaves. And, uh, it's just hilarious, you know. It was just, it was fascinating. And some of the actors on that program went on to uh, Third Rock from the Sun, I think. And uh, another gentleman did a travel channel or tra a channel, a travel show. Another one did a sitcom. So they all went on to... Uh, Pretty, pretty notable careers to this day from being on that hit show. Like I said, it was a hit show if you thought it was a hit show. Here's some more growth coming up there. All right, let's look over here. You haven't seen this before. This is uh, the new trim job on the olive. Hello. And uh, you just missed... Uh, uh, your father. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and Rose went to bingo. Oh, okay. Well, sure, no problem. This is the uh, olive tree. I want, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to trim it so that you get to see the Bacoda. Which you can see now. All right, so long. Drive safely. And, uh, What I'm trying to do is accent these uh, the branch structure of the tree. See? And that's quite a unique... Uh... So these are all the plants that were purchased over the garden center. Just to add some color, you know? Here's the maple. This will be the first year of the maple, the geckos. So just to add some color. Just go and pick whatever you want to pick out. Some of it works, some of it will last longer than others, and some of it, uh, it, it won't last as long as others, you know? You just have to pick and choose. That's Michael Lear. Is it Michael Lear? Uh, the actor who perished not too long ago, that was at his residence. I don't know whether it's a, if it's a lemon tree or if it's an orange tree, to tell you frankly. But that's his. Here you got this one, and of course, I can't recall the name. You know, if I wasn't doing a presentation, I'd be able to raffle it off. But once you start doing a presentation at 19 minutes now, it's, uh, you forget how to speak, you forget how to pronounce words, you forget what things are called. These are coming along good. That's my favorite, one of my favorite ones. Just coming along just fine. And it looks just like a tree would look in the wild. And, uh, some of these bonsai trees, you'll see, they just, they're, too, they're, they're, they're just too perfect. The tree in the wild would not, would not look like that. And these are just different styles. You know, it's like a woman that goes out to a party. Some are dressed uh, comfortably, some are dressed a little bit. Hello. Some of them are, some of them are less uh, dressed uh, accordingly. 
some are overdressed some of them are just they, they they stand out in an uncomfortable way and they don't look genuine they look uh, put on like a clown face or a clown makeup and it's the same thing with bonsai trees I like when they look just natural as natural as they can I, I suppose here's another ginkgo and that's a ginkgo over there that large one of course as you know so uh, so I prefer them to look. Here's one I've had for so many years. You've seen this tree. Look at the way it just wants to come out of that pot, but I'm afraid to do anything with it. As long as it's alive, it's alive, and you know I'm just afraid I don't want to kill it. You know, look at the look at the look at the uh, the trunk. I mean, look at the trunk on that thing. I mean, this is what a real tree looks like in the forest or in your in the in the wild. Look at that trunk. See, that's what you're looking for. You want to make uh, you want to make your trees look real old. So these are all some of the. This is the another boxwood that I put over here. See the boxwood. So that's coming along pretty good. And you can trim them up any way you want. There's no way to do it. There's no way to do it wrong. Uh, you make a mistake, you can just uh, file off some bark, and you you make yourself a lightning strike. Because uh, these plants in the wild uh, and trees, they are thoroughly, it's like, they're like cats. People think they lost their cat. Your cat's not lost. It didn't like living with you anymore. So that's Monty Python's Flying Surface uh, Circus, 1969. In 1970, PBS started uh, programming and uh, uh, debuting in the United States, PBS, Public Broadcasting. And I tell you, I saw a show the other night on the cheating uh, 2017 Astros, and it was unbelievable. This was on the side of the road. I picked this up. Somebody was getting rid of this. And with a little TLC, as we discussed earlier, and some H2O, it's on its way. So it's a success story. People throw plants out quite often, and they're not ready to die yet here's some more uh, rose bush and uh, I don't want to take too much more of your time PBS is a great a great uh, channel I love it because I don't have to watch any uh, F-150 commercials Ford F-150 commercials or BMW the ultimate driving machine there's some succulents I uh, got rid of that cactus that was there so hopefully that, that'll droop down and, and come back down. And uh, some more items here. Yeah, I love PBS. I see some very, uh, very interesting programming, commercial free. If you just get sick and tired of the commercials, I'm telling you, this late night television, you can't watch it. It's, it's like 25 minutes of commercials. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. We'll we'll be right back. We'll we'll be right back. Well, if you, when are you gonna stay? When are you gonna stay? How many commercials? Are you you know you can count the commercials. You one, two, three. You're up to five. You're up to seven, and they're still coming at you, and you just can't take it. You just can't take it. So you know what? You don't take it. You don't watch. And they're not that terribly funny either. Last night I saw uh, Jimmy Kimmel. He was sitting in a chair. He looked like he was two heads taller than uh, Wanda Sykes. Wanda Sykes was the guest, and he was looking down at her. Now, if you look at Johnny Carson, he was at the same level as his guest, if not lower. I mean, if you came over to somebody's house, you wouldn't sit on a chair that was three or four feet higher than the chair of your guest, would you? Look down like a judge? It's horrible. I don't know why... These producers and these directors are so so out to lunch on normal things, what normal people want or want to see. Who in their right mind would go to somebody's house and look up to the guest? But you watch, uh, you watch these talk shows and they're sitting way up high as if they're afraid of their ego. Or they're, afraid of, they're afraid of something. Lower the chair. Be on the same eye, eye, uh, eye, uh, eye, eye, eye uh, sight. As your guest, I guess I get a little bit excited about that. Well, I, you know, some things are just glaringly, obviously nefarious and stupid and, and unnecessary. You should have seen it. Poor Wanda Sykes had to look up. She's a, she's a, she's a comic and she was pushing her new special and she was looking up at this character witness. It was horrible. 
So here's some more bonsais. This one has got some color to it. I like it a lot. So PBS, uh, 1969, I think it was. 1970, PBS uh, debuts in America. Here's the Christmas tree from last year from my sister, Marianne. I, I want to make that a bonsai, but I haven't done so. Yes, some bamboo. And uh, I wanted some more color in the garden, so I picked this up. And it's doing very well, as you can see. It has to grow, and it needs to be cut. And you just cut them any way you want them. You just, you just cut them any way you want them. I may cut this branch here and get rid of this right here. And just, uh, you know, so there's just, and then here's the, uh, here's the wonderful, uh, some more succulents on the ground here. A nice uh, fern coming out of the cactus. I'll let that go. And of course, the nice, the nice pine, which is really, really, uh, really nice and green and really doing well. I like it a lot. So it's a little bit of an area, but uh, there's a lot going on. And just have fun. No matter how small your area is, you can have fun. That chair used to be up on the deck. It's down there now. And then here's the, uh, here's a good shot of the uh, olive, the way I'm trying to uh, get so you can still see the recorder. That word is being mispronounced. You can bet your butt on that. And, and uh, so I hope you enjoyed this little, this little, uh, he's watching over the garden. And these two, I guess, are watching over me. So uh, that's it. Uh, just a short, I guess it's almost 30 minutes, so it isn't just short. But uh, Las Vegas was wonderful. We had a wonderful convention. And I look forward to uh, another convention like that as well. So have fun. Oh, let me show you that if you don't already know. Most of you people probably are you into gardening or you like gardening. You'll, you'll uh, here it is here. This is what you would, uh, when you make your cutting, it's called uh, rooting pow uh, powder. And... Uh, and this is what uh, really can really start your, your, your cutting. Speeds root, uh, root development, and that's what it's called, rooting powder, and it's white. And, uh, and that's what you stick your cuttings in, and before you know it, once it takes, you're in, you're in like Flint. So let's recap on the 5th of October, 72 degrees. September, there's the old flag, the old glory, and uh, I think Bruce Springsteen uh, might have canceled the rest of his shows for the rest of this, this particular tour he's been on because of health problems. Yeah, these guys don't understand. They're, they're like 70 years old. I don't know how old they are. And they're running around the stage like they're 25 years old. They, they act like they're some kind of punk rock band. Yeah, I mean, of course you can have health problems. If you fall, you break a hip, you die. So uh, you got to be careful. And uh, so that's it. I'm going to end it here. And uh, we give you a nice frame towards the end. You can have the uh, olive tree, the pagoda, and the birds in the background. And it's just not a cloud in the sky and a nice breeze in Southern California. So let's just recap very quickly for the ones that are still watching this presentation. 1960, uh, 1962, the first James Bond presentation in the series, uh, Dr. No, and it was wonderful. There were bikinis, it was before woke. Women showed their bodies off. We all knew women's bodies were beautiful and nobody was ashamed to show them off. 1969, Monty Python's Flying Circus. Uh, a very, very influential. Uh, it has really never been topped. It's just uh, just a blast to watch that. Uh, now I don't know where you'll find it. And 1970, PBS uh, starts broadcasting on American television, public broadcasting station, commercial free. They might have a couple of commercials between programs, but once the programs start, 
they will not be interrupted. And they got all sorts of Nova and Antique Roadshow, and they got biographies and American masters and uh, plays and concerts, uh, Southwest by Southeast from Austin. They got all sorts of you know, stories from the stage. I mean, you name it, they got it. A lot of it, people are turned off by it. And a lot of it is good, like everything else in life. You know, take what is good and tell us what you like. Stop telling us what you don't. Enjoy the rest of the day. Tomorrow's Friday, the weekend. It's here. Are you ready for it?